Hello Sofa Squad and welcome back to the sofa. That's my sofa, this is my dog Roscoe, and my name's Paul. Today we're going to be doing a highly requested video. You already saw the thumbnail, you already know what it's about. We are going to be discussing today the video footage that came out of Miss Melanie, her name's now Melanie Pulowski, but before it was Melanie Boudreaux, Melanie Pulowski. Now, this is when she was trespassed and she was arrested. This is during the custody battle, the whole nine yard between her and her ex-husband, Brandon. So what I want to do for this video is I just want to go through, and this is kind of like the format, let's say, of this video. Uh, we're going to go through and we're going to watch little clips of it, and I'm just going to make some commentary on it. Uh, overall, I found it disturbing, angering, if you will, uh, just because of all the information that we know now, there is this level of frustration. But... On the same note, overall, there is also something very satisfying about it because kudos to these cops who are dealing with her in this situation. They were having it, okay? And honestly, all jokes aside or whatever, I do feel like that because of their actions, her children and probably other people are still here. Now, obviously, y'all, this video, I'm, I'm not a lawyer. I'm not a cop. I'm not an attorney. I'm not a psychologist. I'm not any of that, okay? I am somebody with some opinions about true crime cases and evidence and things of that nature. So these are just my opinions and just take it at that. Now, y'all, if you already know, the little teddy bear is wearing the sofa seatbelt and y'all are going to need to strap in too because this one is a bit of a doozy and also go ahead and grab some popcorn because we might be here for a while and also speaking of yummy tasty treats y'all we need to give a shout out to our sponsor you already know who it is it's HelloFresh and they are back on the sofa again Y'all, we couldn't stay away from HelloFresh, and they're back on the sofa again this week. With it being wintertime, there is nothing better than cozy home-cooked meals. We got out of our recipe rut, and we've been trying new ones. For this video, I made the pub-style shepherd's pie. It's a Hall of Famer, and it was so yummy. The produce was a home run. All the recipes that include produce directly from farmers that goes from the farm to your doorstep in under a week. It is no surprise that HelloFresh has more five-star reviews than any other meal kit. All the portions are pre-done, so there's less prep, less wasted food, and more savings at the grocery store. For those that know me and my crazy work schedule, I literally worked all day, came home, made this meal, cleaned the kitchen, and both Matt and I cleaned our plates and he wanted to know when I was going to order that meal kit again. Y'all, that speaks volumes about the quality and how easy it is to prepare these meals. HelloFresh offers 50 menu and market items to choose from every week, including vegetarian, calorie smart, and gourmet options. They've got you covered. HelloFresh also offers their limited edition holiday hosting box that delivers everything you need to cook up a family feast. No planning necessary. We are totally in for this. All you have to do is go to HelloFresh.com and use Reporting Live from iSofa14 for up to 14 free meals and 3 free gifts. Go to HelloFresh.com and use code Reporting Live from iSofa14 for up to 14 free meals and 3 free gifts. Alright y'all, give them a try. Now look, let's go ahead and set the scene a little bit here, okay? So this is in 2019. This is like a few weeks or maybe a month after someone, we don't know who, wink, wink, shot at Brandon Boudreaux. Remember, he had pulled up to his house, shots were fired. It's pretty obvious at this point who it was, but you know, that person's not here. We don't know if others were helping or involved. So there's that. Now, remember, Melanie is desperately trying to get her children. And in this video, what we're seeing is the children are at Brandon's parents' house. So Melanie's ex-in-laws okay and she has already gone to the house once she's already been told she knows she's not supposed to be there right so that's the other part of this where i'm just like what now to set the scenery or the scene i should say not the scenery uh to set the scene right for this though i want to listen to a clip of the 911 phone call that was placed from his parents Okay, so a couple of things about this that stick out to me. First of all, the level of anger, but also beyond that, which 
I would be too, okay? But beyond that is like almost, I don't know if the word desperation, but almost like that whole vibe of, I know the level of danger that these people are and this woman who is trespassing, trying to get these kids, they know what's up, okay? And it's that level of get away from my family, right? And then when you hear that last part where he's like, you know, they took a shot at my son, I know she's involved. They weren't playing games, okay? This the, His parents and kudos to them saw right through all this BS, right? They knew what the deal was and they were protecting their family. And I get it. I mean, honestly, with what the behavior she was exhibiting that we're going to watch in this video, I'm like, she was lucky she had the chance to get arrested. And let's look at what she has to say, like right off the bat of this incident. to come here last night to do a check-in because I'm worried they're in danger. So first off, if you have dogs and they just heard that clip, I apologize. <laughs> Roscoe's little head was turned up listening to the dogs barking and that. But one thing that like really just goes all over me is her saying that, oh, the kids are in danger. We're going to get to the core order that she has in her hands, okay? Because that's just the part that you're like, oh, what is this goes on? But she is just so high and mighty on their property in their garage and coming and talking to the cops. Like, I mean, she has no doubt in her mind that what she is doing, she is 100% entitled to. And that's the part that I'm just like, are you kidding me? And then on top of it, the icing on the cake for that, knowing full well, those children might not be here if she had gotten them. And the audacity, okay? Okay, to even sit there and try and say, oh, they're in danger at their grandparents' house. Please. But you and came they... over here after being told that you were criminally trespassed. But I have an agreement from, saying that. From this residence, correct? But my order says that it's my time with my kids. They're supposed to be in Arizona. My you husband's were, kept them out of school. You from this location. I just need my kids, and no. you're welcome to look at this order. Now again, kudos to these cops because notice how they're not backing down. They're already right at the bat. You've already been criminally trespassed from this property and you're back here again. And then she's just sitting there rattling off this court order. And again, court order. And one thing I find interesting is because when I was watching this, the whole time I'm sitting here and I'm like, does she really believe herself? That's what I just am like, it, it, I can't decide. I'm curious what y'all think. Because you'll see as we get through this, and also if you've already watched it, you'll know. I mean, she doesn't have no court order, okay? They've been out of state, out of school, and my husband We're, lied to everybody. I'm sure he lied to the cop last night. So been, this is my we've been order. In contact with Do you have a victim's advocate I can speak to in the police department, please? A hundred percent. She is someone that chases staff around a home goods over some Ray Dunn, number one. Number two, a hundred percent going to speak to a manager in any given situation, including this one. So notice how she's like going through all that. They've been lied. Everyone's been lied to by my husband, my ex-husband, you know, da, 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 da. Mind you, she's lying through her teeth this whole time and around a bunch of murderous liars, but that's here nor there. Now, also the other part that gives me, she finishes that up with, I'd like to speak to a victim's uh, rights advocate at the police department. Thank you very much. And I'm just like, who? I mean, my God. Can you imagine these people and just, you know, their everyday interactions if something doesn't go their way? I'm worried they're in danger because I, I, my husband's been doing a lot of things that cause me to worry. Um, he says he was shot at a month ago. Um, and then he went into hiding and no one in Arizona has seen him for weeks or my children and he kept them out for over a month with two absences. Uh, another infuriating part of this is she's blaming her worry and a lot of this obviously onto Brandon. Now, in addition to that, she's also blaming him for something that they allegedly she Alex, who's parked down the street in a truck, her uncle did, more than likely. And so now she's blaming him for this. Like, this is a reason to, you know, yank the kids from there. And it's like, honey, they know your number, okay? Of course he went into hiding. You're trying to take his life. 
And how freaky is that that she's now at his parents' house? That part just like sends chills down my spine because I just feel like these people are very lucky to be alive. I mean, uh, so many people, obviously, but I just feel like this was not going to end well if this kept going on and she was not able to get to the children. Now, another thing that gets very interesting is she employs a lot of these tactics that we see Lori have done, other people in this, and it's like her memory gets slippery and words salad and all these other things let's take a look but you're you were trespassed correct you remember that on the phone i i asked you if you understood you said I, that you did so okay so you understand you're trespassed right yes but i believe with my order i can come and just get my i'm nope. not going nope. in nope I'm no not that's, going that's into the house. no I'm just your trespass in. from the property you being on the lawn right now is a violation of that trespass now, one thing about that clip, that one dude who came in toward the end, he's not having her, okay? The other ones are like kind of nice throughout, but they're definitely firm. This guy was over her before they got there, okay? It's almost like he lived with her at some point in his life and he already knew, right? So, but notice how she reluctantly doesn't want to admit you know, that she knows she's trespassed where it's like, okay, but I have these fake papers in my hand. You know, she keeps going back to that like it means something. And I'm like, Ani, just because you say this is like the Wizarding World of Harry Potter book doesn't mean that you're living in the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. I don't know what else to do. I asked someone to just come over and see if they're safe okay. last night. And they, Carlson probably scared them off saying there's a protection store and there's no protection store. We can go and look everything up right now. Okay. I haven't seen or talked to my kids. I have a two-year-old, four-year-old, a six-year-old, and a nine-year-old, and they haven't seen their mom. Now, as we see with the patterns in this family, when backs are pushed against the wall, we revert to being a victim, to crying, to all of these nuances, if you will. Now, another thing is just this whole, well, there's no order against me, and they're lying, and da-da-da-da-da. I've never seen a group of people that accuse so many others around them of lying when they are the ones that are lying themselves. I mean, maybe this is like cult-like behavior. I mean, I don't know. I'm not some cult expert person. But it just surprises me because, again, just human nature, I'm always like, do they believe themselves or do they know they're grifting yet that's what they have to do to try and get what they want so they're going with it you know what i'm saying or is there that big of a disconnect i mean i'm curious what y'all think now another thing that we is very popular with the people in this case is word salad and you know changing the subject and all this one thing that melanie does throughout this whole clip is she tries to, it's like the level of manipulation of trying to get the cops to just do one thing. And she does this with many things, but especially doing the welfare check on the kids, which we're gonna see some clips of that now. But the cops are like, we've already come and done that. And it doesn't matter how many times they say it, she tries to re-spin it and re-serve it to them in so many different ways. And be like, well, could you go do this? Could you go do that? And da 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 It's almost like they knew they were going there with one intention, which was probably to kidnap the children or something, right? Right? and or to plan an event at that home for later if you know what I'm saying and then when they got caught doing it it was like oh now we're just kind of backpedaling and making things up and gaslighting oh it's them we need to make sure they're safe so on and so forth let's roll the camera I tried, I tried asking if an officer could just I make sure they're that. safe and we told you but they I, were I was safe, told right? I have a mediation I have this court order saying it's my time with the kids if I know where they're at I can go and get them no so so you can't come over here and forcefully take them not forcefully uh, I'm just knocking saying I'm just going to give them an order them because out, I know right? they've been lied to you saying okay. there's a uh, protection now another thing that gets me about this whole clip this whole situation but this clip specifically is again she goes into that well i sent a cop over or someone over to you know check on the kids but they've been lied to so on and so forth and this will keep going as this video goes now also when she gets into the whole thing of well i i thought that my order meant that i could just come get them and this is where i'm just like um hello um first of all didn't you just like randomly move and leave the children or something of that flavor okay so that's where the selective you know desperation does doesn't sit right with me okay uh, and all this other stuff I'm like your allegiance seems to be to Lori you know in my opinion and wherever she's at now maybe she's changed maybe Melanie's changed at this point um, you know but when she's like I wasn't forcibly trying to take the kids and that's where I'm just like um honey hello we heard the 911 phone call okay I don't know what world she lives in but I'm just like if somebody tells you to get off their property you get off their property okay especially in this kind of scenario I'm just like who are you joking 
And again, she goes back to this whole thing about all these lies that have been made up, you know, and oh, they've been lied to about me. It's, you know, Brandon's this and the parents and that and da 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 da. I mean, just look back at some of the interviews that she's done. I, I, I warned him. I said, you know, if, you know, Natalie's probably going to try to get a hold of Brandon and Brandon's going to run with all these, these lies about me. And Ian knew they um, knew who I was, but he, the factor of Tylee and JJ going missing and he's never seen them before and had only met Chad and Lori one time. He doesn't know, you know, what I know about the past of Lori trying to do everything she can to protect her kids and people who have been threatening her. Well, I moved out there right after um, my ex took my children from me. Um, there's a lot of lies out there that I've abandoned my children and it's simply not true. Remember, this is the same woman that's saying that Brandon is gay because of videos or pictures of him, um, that he's done some kind of, you know, gay drug ecstasy. Um, you know, she's gotten visions at the temple, this and the other. God only knows the BS that Chad Daybell was serving her. Because remember, he doesn't like children or spouses, right? He needs all the attention and money for himself. So that's where this whole thing of these lies have been made up against me and you know brandon's a crazy one i'm just like do you not see the pattern or do they see it and they don't care because they're trying to get money also keep in mind i'm sorry but they were lying in hell with the same insurance stuff period end of story you can't tell me differently i mean that is where that situation was headed and honestly the fact that he went into hiding is probably why he's still alive too so much of this inside the proof is in the pudding remember there's a defamation suit out there that brandon got paid 12 million dollars I don't know if he's gotten all that money or not, but I mean, it's a huge sum of money awarded to him, you know, because of the slanderous things that her attorneys put out during this custody battle. So again, the proof is in the pudding. So far, what I see in the pudding is proof that they are murderous liars and that there's a lot of victims in the path and some were lucky and fortunate enough to get away. Now, if y'all haven't already buckled up your sofa seatbelt, you're going to need to go ahead and get it out for the next parts we're going to get into. You want to buckle up, Roscoe? You want to buckle up? Exits are on the left-hand side. Let me know if you can't sit by the low wing door. We'll get somebody else to. Okay, so let's get our little bear tucked in. Now, what we're going to do now, y'all, is we're going to talk about some of the more satisfying parts of this video. So much of the body cam footage that we've seen in the past and the interviews and all that, we see cops coddling the killers. We see them feeding them answers. You know, the whole nine yards where you're just like, what? Why would you, huh? Why? Okay. This scenario, though, is so satisfying because we see finally cops talking to them like most of us would want to, right? We see them treating her in the way of, yeah, this is insane, and you're going to jail. I don't know if they're safe, and I feel like they're in danger. We can go in there and check and see if they're safe, if and then can, we can come sir. back here, and we can tell sir, you they're you safe. Can. can you imagine having an argument with her when she shows up three days early to the bath and body candle sale demanding the discount? <sighs> Uh, it's beyond me but kudos to this guy because he finally loses it and this is where the beginning of the end begins to come in for melanie and this evening stop talking stop talking okay my word color me petty and clutch my pearls let's listen to that again stop talking stop talking okay stop talking stop talking okay Stop talking. Stop talking. Okay. I'm sorry, but I've just wanted to hear somebody say that to all of this nonsense for so long. Now, another thing with this whole situation is that she can't keep up with her own, you know, hypocrisies. And we see this with the other people too. She's already said, you know, his parents are good people. They've just been lied to this and the other, you know, that she's been told over and over the kids are saved by these cops, but she's not getting what she wants. She wants to take the kids away and God knows after that but again she's not getting what she wants she's unhinged and these cops see that and they are not having it we can give you a report able, number and sir, we can stop talking take... stop talking okay I'm explaining some things yes, okay are you understanding what I'm saying I am sir that's half these zombies problems is they don't listen to things that they don't want to hear but then after all that drama, after all this back and forth, after all the rattling of the court order papers we get to this gem. This is a mediated settlement agreement, not a court order. Yes, the court mediation was... Well, it, was if legally... it was done through mediation, it's not through the court. That just means that you guys sat down with the mediator, you agreed on something. This is not something that's been enforced by a judge. It has, sir. I have the paperwork in my car. Oh my God. 
I mean, yo. If you look up face palm, this whole situation is next to it. It's like a bad sitcom that just writes itself. I'm like, after all that, after all that, it's not even a court order. Okay, that's where I was like, I honestly would have had a little bit more respect for the situation if she had hands down proof of this. But then there's that, and notice how that's still not enough. She's gonna gaslight it, she's gonna lie, and she's gonna keep backing out of it, okay? She can't be that stupid, right? She can't be that stupid. Maybe she is, I don't know. But this is just literally unbelievable. But it keeps getting better, or worse, I should say and deeper you know and on that note still a little bit more i'm just like this i'm like you know and like i just said you would think she would have it all official all that now again she's claiming that that part's in the car right the sign parts in the car so i'm like okay so you're telling me that you have this paperwork that you were trying to force on the parents so you're saying gives me the right to come take the children and it's not even like legally enforceable. Now, mind you, she's alleging that part's in the car, but I'm like, you clearly had no plans on getting that. So what was your intention there? Now, when the cops call her bluff and they're like, well, let's go, let's go to said car. And she starts to take him to it. This is very telling to me how far the car is. Okay, so let's look at that. So if this is such a legit situation, this, that, and the other, why are they parked all the way down the street? Why are they parked like not in front of the house? And then what was that name we heard? Who is it that came with her? Good old Uncle Alex Cox. No other than the man, allegedly, that was parked outside of their son Brandon's home a few weeks ago and that allegedly tried to attempt to take his life. Now this next clip, the audio is kind of weird on it. So just like listen really carefully to it if you can. I'll tell you what it is after we listen to it. We, set, we, set, we have set days, set weekends, and so we, we did set all of that. Well, and there's a lot in here for... Did, but in the court order, it doesn't specify a specific time frame or a set schedule. It says that you have, a, you have agreed in mediation to a flexible parenting plan so they're sitting here saying this whole thing about like oh i have set days and set this and it's like no no you don't okay like this everything that she claims she has in this paper isn't true it's not what it is and again i come back to this i've said this whole video and i'll keep saying it i just am like did she believe this was she that confused about it i mean my goodness and if so i mean really okay now in these next clips we're going to see this cops start to really lose their patience with her not even binding or legal yet so quite frankly it, it, it because it hasn't been signed and it hasn't been submitted by your by your media okay it, it so has. It's, facts are you, sir? facts can are it, no i don't want to see it i actually don't want to see it facts are i think you should get a citation right now for trespassing and then we should move on so this officer cuts right to the chase that paper ain't real it's not legal binding it's not been signed the kids are fine and you need to go to jail okay now he doesn't say jail obviously yeah but he's over it and i love how much he's like continually wants to show this you know paper to everybody he's like i don't want to see it i don't want to see it because it's true at the end of the day this doesn't matter okay it doesn't matter what's in her hand it's not going to work and again this is where you get so tired of hearing people wasting resources like on cops and stuff because at this point this is so petty and to, Obviously, we know it's dangerous and what their real intentions probably were. But at the same time, it's such a waste of resources. And these cops, I mean, I'm like, really, they're having to be out here playing this game seriously. But I mean, it is what it is. So, you know, she's not getting her way. Also, the level of her insistence, even though they've shot her down for every single thing about this piece of paper, she cannot let that go. And again, I'll just say this, it seems like she's more concerned about winning something, achieving something, getting her way than she is about the true safety of others. Also, the whole thing in regards to like Brandon and what happened to him, again, we don't 100% know if she knew that Alex did or not. I mean, my personal opinion is that she did. Um, but again, that's just my opinion that hasn't been proven in court so i don't know if that's you know a fact or not yet only time will tell but nonetheless it just seems like you know it, the hypocrisy of her not being okay with him being with the grandparents and whatnot and again i'm just like well look if you had nothing to do with this and someone was trying to do something to brandon i mean don't you think that maybe it would be good for the kids to be off in hiding i mean i, I don't know the whole thing just smells funny 
and stir things up even more. I know. I get it. I just let you know for sure they're safe. Uh, there's nobody else in that house. There's nobody else in the house. So if you're telling me that you you so know for a fact there's 15 people in that house right now having some sort of family get together, you're out of your mind because there's not anybody else in that house. Again, I love hearing somebody talk to her this way, and it's just sad that it maybe didn't wake her up out of her delusion. Yeah, you know, because again, she's sitting here. Oh, that could be their cousins, and I'm like, huh? Interesting that she brings them up at this point, you know, and that, oh, this is whole big family get together in there. And I mean, here are the copies. Like, I just told you, I just went in there and told you the kids are fine. And I mean, she will go on and on saying that, that those possibly aren't her kids. She wants the cop to go in there and take a picture. He's like, I'm not going to go take a picture. Okay. I mean, she's just going way out of line and overboard. Let's go ahead and shift our focus to one of the central players in this, Alex Cox. What's up, Alex? You have your ID on your Now, once he gives them the ID, I think it's very interesting to watch his facial expressions, his tone. To me, he seems nervous at first. And also, isn't it funny how he's always at these situations? You know, he's always at these moments in this family's life. <clears throat> Pretty good, dude. Not bad. Now, he's sitting there all awkward. Hello, how's it going? Drinking his water bottle. That's like his nervous tick. When he has water, he compulsively drinks it. Remember him in the interview after the Charles Vallow thing? So there's that. Now again, typical MO, you know, he's taking Melanie. He's on this journey of they're doing something wrong. He's taking her to break the law. He's parking down the street. Again, it just seems very much like probably what took place at Brandon's house before that event. I personally think also Alex is kind of scoping the scenario out to be able to possibly do something to them later as well but now as much as I think of Alex being nervous and know maybe he had this because again God knows he had blood on his hands at this point right in multiple ways okay but nonetheless he's still engaging in this kind of activity right here where I'm just like aren't is there no shame is there no level of I've taken numerous lives maybe I should reel it in a little bit right I mean that doesn't seem to equate okay you guys came all the way from Arizona Oh, where are we coming from? Idaho. Oh, Idaho. Now I get that he might not be like looking at the cop because of those bright lights and whatnot, but to me he just acts like super shady, like super withdrawn, like I'm not gonna say anything, like almost like better than or like super nervous. But then he quickly reverts back to a very familiar Alex. Just let's make sure everybody's safe and okay. You know what I mean? Yes. So I'm not moving. Cool. <laughs> So let's go ahead and fast forward and get to the juice of this whole debacle. Okay, so things have changed a little bit, okay? Um, definitely we made a mistake and didn't catch on until afterwards. Okay, you 100% know for like a split second, she was like, oh my God, my fake papers, they mean something, I told you. Okay. Um, your criminal trespass is enhanced to domestic violence. But oh, how fast do those cards come crumbling down. It was at that moment that she knew she messed up. Uh, because you were in a domestic relationship, uh, you had, you know, in-laws there. You trespassed, you entered the garage unlawfully. So we're actually going to be taking you into custody tonight. Okay, wait, hold up. Can we get a rewind up in here? We're actually going to be taking you into custody tonight. We're actually going to be taking you into custody tonight. Oh, Lord, I love it. But now, y'all, let's let's get to the next best part on this, okay? Let's get to the most satisfying part where they put the cuffs on her. So, I'm just going to need you to go ahead and stand up, face away from me, place your hands behind your back. Is your uncle still out there? Yes, he is. Yeah. Now, notice there how at the end, when they're like, is your uncle still out there? I'm just like, of course he is. If there's trouble, Alex is near. Mr. Cox? Yeah. I'm going to leave this with you. Melanie's going to be going to the Utah County Jail tonight. Okay. So she wanted to leave that with you. All right. I'm sure she'll reach out to you as soon as she's able to, okay? So where would I bail her out? Or? Now, it's funny how this whole situation of arrest and bail and all that just seems very old hat for Alex to be in this circumstance or whatever. But he does try to feign like a sense of surprise, like, oh, 
okay. You know, and he's probably thinking, why are they going to arrest me? You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, has she told on me? You know, that's probably what's going through his mind. And now, obviously, he will end up and go get her. He'll bail her out the following day. There's that. Now, I I'm really keeping this video just to the commentary on this specific video. But again, the thing that's bizarre about this case is each segment of it is so deep and twisted with so many rabbit holes and twists and turns and whatnot. Same here. I again want to give a shout out to these police officers because I do feel like they saved lives this night. And I do feel like if this had happened in other circumstances, we might not be completely where we're at today. So kudos to them for sticking by it and seeing through her BS. And one thing I do want to remember also is remember when Tylee and JJ's bodies, they were found, Brandon drove all the way there to do the identification and he spared Larry and Kay from doing that. You know, here's the man who's being smeared by this woman, by this family. I mean, for God's sakes, they tried to take his life, you know, over money and over lies on their part. So that's the part that just shocks me. And it's not just singled out to Brandon. Obviously, we're talking about that in this specific video. But this was their MO with everybody, with Tammy, with the kids, with Charles, with Joe. I mean, the numerous victims that are present in this case. And that's what's so frustrating and so angering about it. And that drives all of us to watch this, to hopefully see Joe justice take place for all of these people. Now, I appreciate everybody hanging out on the sofa here with me and Roscoe, our little bear. He's becoming our little mascot of sorts, although Roscoe always will be. Again, go ahead and give HelloFresh a check out. All that stuff's down in the description box below if you want to try out that uh, the their product. It's amazing. Uh, and again, thank you so much for being here and reviewing this case with me. I really appreciate it. And until the next time that we all gather around this sofa with this little dog and that little seatbelt, I'll see you then.